Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how to make your engine service in your motors. Uh, depend on your motor engine, your depend on your uh, service uh, instruction. You need to make service depend on your running hour or or time. So also sometimes if you have major uh, repairing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the oil and uh, step by step, I'm going to show you how to do this job and then also the how to change the, your fuel filter, uh, oil filter, oil and generator. Uh, generator almost same but uh, engine oil. So first of all, you need to prepare some uh, container for the old, old uh, collect some uh, collect your old oil. Then you need to make order for new oil. Uh, so depend on your engine category, uh, engine manufacturer details. So, uh, so now here I already uh, prepare some empty container. This is uh, Cat C32 Viking Yacht. This is 64 feet. Okay, here now we already start to uh, fill in the oil. You can see here we have uh, oil changing pump. So. This is they have valve arrangement for the changing oil. You need to make this one for the engine room. Then this is the starboard engine, changing engine oil. And uh, this is you can also use gear oil for and generator oil for changing. So now you need to prepare an empty container for depend on your uh, engine oil uh, capacity. In here actually this is 80. 5 liter with the filter. The so now we already removed two can, right, Captain? Yep. Two can. I mean, uh, we already removed 40 liter. Now I'm going to show you the. I will start the pump. Then uh, you can see the oil coming out. You ready, Captain? Ready. Okay. Make it little longer. Okay. Now you can see oil it's like dark color. Coming out. This is from the starboard engine. Like that, uh, you need to remove all the oil, then uh, you need to remove the filter, then you need to reinstall the new filter, and then you can uh, refill the oil. So, I'm going to show you the, all the uh, maintenance uh, one by one, then you can get some idea. You need to check this uh, part number every time when you order the your oil filter. So this is that original part. I will show you how to change this uh, filter also. To so, uh, remove the oil filter, uh, then we are going to uh, refix new filter. Uh, for removing this filter, you can use uh, like kind of this filter remover. So and also when you remove the filter you need to be careful because the some oil will come out so you don't need to drain some oil so you I prepare already some rocks downside, some cotton waste. And also now uh, I also prepare some uh, plastic bags for collecting the oil. So if you have a space you can put some container downside so it will drain out the oil. Now I'm going to lose this filter and uh, you can see how I will do that one. So the removing is uh, anti-clockwise. You need to tighten this wrench like that. Make sure your uh, oil already drained. This is second step. First you need to remove the oil. Then you need to remove the filter. First filter is already loose, so they have two filter. Still, okay. Uh, 
uh, once you lose the filter, you can uh, put some plastic bags, some like this. So if you cannot possible put some uh, container down side, it is possible to come some oil. That's why you need to put some uh, plastic like that. Make sure this O-ring is still there because this O-ring, if uh, sometime is here, you need to remove the O-ring. That one you need to be careful. You can see here is still they have oil. You don't need to mess up your engine room. This is they have some oil. You can drain that oil for some container. So temporarily I put inside here. Uh, you need to uh, check your part number with your uh, engine uh, specification, uh, your engine part manual, you can see this number and you, you need to check this number. So this is cat original parts. So I am going to open this one. So thing is, So you need to make uh, lubricant this uh, oil seal here. You can see this is oil seal. So you need to make some lubricant like some marine grease or some kind of oil you can use. So also, here this is the You need to clean this area a little bit. This is the oil seal. Uh, this is the oil seal touching here. So you need to keep clean this one and also make your oil seal you already removed. Okay, now I am going to put some uh, lubricant here. In oil filter, you need to you don't need to refill the uh, pre-fill the filter before. But when you put the fuel filter, you need to refill uh, pre-fill. So sometimes only uh, every time you need to be careful the maintenance manual. They mentioned these three. So the first one is make the lubricant for the oil seal. So this is first number. Then second one is. Make the hand tight first. Third one is after your uh, oil seal is touching with the body, you need to make one more turn for the tightening. Only that turn, you don't need to make over tight the your oil filter. Okay, that is the this three picture is mentioned for you. Okay, now I am going to refix the new filter. You need to make sure it will go properly for it with the thread. So that's why they will mention only use the hand tight first. If the filter is not going smoothly, there should be some problem. Usually filter is go smoothly like this. So now it touch the oil seal with the body if you have no ex exactly experience they will mention L1, L2, L3 and L4 here you can see this is L2 
So one turn means the L tool will come again here. So if there's no indication, you can make some mark here. Then you can turn one turn. Uh, it will come after one turn here. That is the filter tightening, proper tightening. Then you can use your filter wrench. Okay, L1 here, L2 here. Now I'm going to turn. Turn. L4. Okay, L1. It's come only in one. That is enough for tightening. It's only a little space here. But if you feel the tight is enough, that is okay. Okay, now we are going to refill the oil. Uh, every time when you refill the oil, you need to make sure that your uh, oil is depend on your engine category, uh, engine uh, uh, service details. So you need to check about with your manufacturer that number. So and also quantity, how many liter you need. So this number will change also depend on the engine, also depend on your region. So you need to be careful. If uh, you need to order the uh, correct oil. This is CAT C32. So we are going to refill this one. This is new oil. This is uh, 85 liter for engine. So we have two engines. This turbine engine. We already remove the old oil and also we remove the filter and already we we fix the new oil filter. This is third step. We are going to refill the engine. So, okay. So, this is actually uh, really easy in this engine because we have a uh, oil filling pump. So, this is the pump for the filling oil. Now, it's going to open on the pump. So it will suck the oil and directly go to the starboard engine through this hole. Okay, now we already uh, refilled the engine uh, with the uh, exactly quantity. So this is 85 liter, we already filled the 85 liter. But your filter is still uh, empty, so you can check your dipstick. First, you need to wipe. You can see here they have a uh, max mark and a uh, min mark. The oil level should be between these two. Now you can see oil is over here. So still my uh, filter is empty. So you need to run the engine for a few minutes. Then you can check the again oil. If you need more little, you can add also. But uh, every time you need to refer your uh, maintenance manual, how many liter you need for your engine. Okay, only that one for changing oil. Then uh, uh, first step is uh, removing the oil from the crankcase. Then you need to remove the, your oil, oil filter. So then you need to fix your new oil filter. Then you need to. Uh, fill your crankcase with the correct quantity and correct oil then you need to check your dipstick so that is the step uh, you can do that one uh, I think you can get some uh, idea with this video also next video we will show you how to make the outstanding uh, fuel filter okay thank you very much